Hello viewers, it's the me and team. Welcome back to Let's Play the Roleplay Challenge with Poodle Hair, also known as Julian Assange. And yeah, I should probably unpause the game before moving, shouldn't I? Because otherwise I am not moving anywhere. My opponents have guilds, but not a whole lot else. Uh, Solomon's running away a little bit, but you know, eventually I'll just focus espionage on him and mass steal from him. I just don't want to piss him off too much until I've secured the continent otherwise. And looking at the land surrounding... Uh, our Ottoman Empire here with Tagal, that's, I'm pretty envious of this. Look at that, triple gems nearby, lots of good jungle resources, a nice riverside start with corn. Uh, pretty, pretty solid, pretty solid stuff for him. He's got a lot of farms. I don't know why he would farm his capital and then non-Riverside's cottage, uh, Samson, but, yeah, he's an AI, he's not too bright. Anyway, that's a little bit better than our capital. Not that our capital is terrible. I mean, anytime you get multiple food, it's workable, but... These are kind of non-standard food and not so strong. Well, the, the deer is okay, I suppose. I can't complain. Or, at least, not legitimately. Anyways, got a market coming up here. And look at all that. Plus one C medicine, plus two tin. Yeah, uh, Roman lands, for some reason, he's teching pretty well. I don't see why. Maybe it's a shrine or something, but... Uh, you know, a lot of deserts, so Neapolis is only so-so... This city doesn't even have a source of food in it. Uh, this city's okay for production, but it's settled on top of iron. And, well, it's not really that great for production. It's just another coastal city. Antium. Antium's got two sources of food. Antium's pretty solid. Uh, that city's solid. This capital, triple seafood. Okay, fine. It's, it's not the best in the world. He's probably got some more land down here because of the culture borders allowing him to reach. Actually, you don't even need culture. You can just use a, a galley for that or something. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to auto-explore my galley. Anyways, in the last part, we took down the mainland cities of the Persian Empire, also known as Montezumas, and um, yeah, this guy is completely unwilling to negotiate peace. I kind of have more cities than you, dude. And uh, he's still at war with Hattie, I believe, as well. And she, was she peaceful I still to me? No, she's doing fine on her own. Maybe if I get stronger, though, she'll peace vassal to me. Then I'll have to put up with her. Nobody's really going out of control in culture, so I don't have to worry about her from that standpoint. Got another great spy on the way. I might have to start settling them soon. No, I could probably just keep making Scotland Yards. Such a strong multiplier. Oh, hey. You are a vassal. Um, maybe a colony vassal. Colonies are pretty common on big and small. And okay, so there shall be peace in our time. Uh, you are backwards as all get out also. But we'll open borders. Um, he definitely didn't meet me with astronomy. Apostolic Palace. Uh, I'm voting for myself. Which is an excellent thing to do in general, is to vote for oneself. It represents charisma and um, care and uh, definitely no bias whatsoever. Definitely does not represent bias. Okay, I gotta know if they'll attack me. I'm gonna move next to them and just see. I'm curious. Don't really need this swordsman here. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, go up to the capital. Kind of running out. I mean, I could build like a city here, but this is gonna be tr junk until like pretty late in the game. So I don't really, not really appealing to me to do that. Do I have my market here already? I do. Yeah, fur, ivory, silk, and wear well on the market benefits, and I have everything but the whales. And oh well, another border pop in my capital and compass and I will even have whales so market will be a plus four happiness building for me easily the uh, the strongest happiness building I have right now whereas normally they're not so great anyway Montezuma not breaking free of the Ottomans is getting a little annoying especially because my strength differential is increasing against the Ottomans and yeah he's still rocking longbows having espionage like this is really handy for war and, okay there's his stack his stack um, I'm going to watch it, see if it comes after me, or if it goes after Hattie. Solomon won the Apostolic Palace. Oh, that could be very annoying. Um, because <laughs> it'll probably try to stop the war. And let's see uh, where his stack has gone. I don't see it now. Which means it's a uh, good chance it's... No, where is it? Well, whatever. It would have been really handy if I could have won the Apostolic Palace. Um, let's take a look at the members. Hmm. 
Okay, so I spread Hinduism around a little bit. Actually, let's look at the resolutions. Stop reading there. Declare all infidels. 453 votes are required out of 731. Um, I have 316 votes myself. <laughs> so no, no, uh, 731 minus 100, minus 300, that is not, that is not going to get to 453. So they are not going to be able to, um, vote for religious victory, nor are they going to be able to vote a stop war because my religious presence is just too high. That is awesome. <laughs> They have the benefits of the Apostolic Palace without the drawbacks, and yeah, we'll try it. We'll try roading there. I really want to know if the game will, uh, if the Lemming script will cause them to attack or not. Oh yeah, I was going to settle my great general there. My awesome general. And yeah, I think it's time to work in some Hindu buildings. They are very, very, very good under the Apostolic Palace. Any, as any religious building would be. And this city already has them, which makes it very nice. Um, should I hit whip a Mandir? I should. I could use the happiness in that city. Uh, got the Hindu buildings in my capital. Yeah, look at the production increase from having that available. So good. You just invest in them and they keep giving you hammers pretty much for the rest of the game. Anywho, um, I have to be careful about the AI attacking me, even here. Well, with a little bit of collateral for my catapults, I could probably take care of it. But I do need to be—I do need to play this cautiously to an extent. But at least I won't get a forced AP war. And the answer is yes. The Lemming script, when they have no alternatives, will attack you. Okay. Uh, how many workers do I left anyway? I have ten workers. I have more than ten cities, but oh well. Yeah. Now all these are gonna—all these are gonna go. Yeah, build a camp, build a road, I don't even care any longer. Uh, apparently I have some spies available, and I really want to find that stack belonging to De Gaulle. It will make the difference on whether I can push out right now, or if I should be playing on the defensive until he enters my territory with a stack. And I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's gone, that's actually pretty weak sauce, now that I'm looking at it. I hit that with like... Um, two or three catapults that I've left over, and I can probably uh, rip it to shreds with elephants, so. The time of offense is nigh, however, I do still have to wait. Uh, for well, I don't have to, but it's a good idea for me to wait until he enters my borders with it. And what are you doing, Saxton? No, no, don't, don't pull stupid shenanigans. There you go. Saxton's a pretty good city, too, actually. And yeah, <laughs> once I can, like, steal uh, universal suffrage or whatever... I'm going to be in a good way. <laughs> or steal democracy. Can I buy printing press off you? No, I cannot. <laughs> oh man. Persians just refuse. Refuse to break free. It's really annoying. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, start on the cottaging there, why not? Cottage, 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 because I don't have a lot of other options. Okay, it takes 3,000 gold, so he's probably not going to want to sell that nicely. And I'll probably have to start using espionage to get these more expensive techs. And I can put that off for a while. What do you have to say? You have to say that you demand Sousa. Okay. Uh, I'm not giving you Sousa, dude. And I saw that his forces were headed, in, and if he's, he's here and not, like, there, that means that his target city is probably Sousa, and he wants Sousa back, which just lends me to believe that even more. And sure enough, there he is. Um, sure. I don't want to get into any unnecessary wars. You are backwards, and giving him paper will do not much harm to me, so... Yeah, I'll give it to him. Sure. Break free, Monty. Break free. Ah, uh, he's going to be on a hill. But he's... Uh, most of his units will not get much bon uh, benefit from defending on a hill. And this will be his stack... What do you say, Hattie? Nope. What? My land is too far away. Well, we can fix that. Oh, apparently he chose that hill. It really doesn't matter which hill. The same amount of forces in the area prepared to deal with it. Can I reach this stack with this? I can. That actually has a road here, surprisingly. 
You wouldn't think so looking at it, but it does. And okay, just uh, hit with a catapult. Yep. Uh, oh, come on, if a collateral on the pikes. There we go. Three hits with the catapult. And, well, got some 45% odds, but we'll power through that. And take care of all this stack. Because, you know, those trebuchets, uh, those could really ruin my day. So I don't want to deal with them unless I have to. And I do not. Yeah, there you go. Completely cleaned out his stack. Ha, <laughs> But he won't demand a city now, no. Now he realizes. He's like, uh-oh, something's wrong. <laughs> but it's too late. It's too late to apologize. Alright, um... Probably only need, like, one longbow now that I can move on the offensive to stay back on defense. Yeah, so... We'll just do that. Another great general. We're just going to move him there. Oops. Yeah, you, you follow the orders I already gave you and go here. Um, wow, that pike isn't going to do anything. And neither will that one mace. So pretty much just crushed another stack of his. Uh, no big deal. Um, no, I'm going to wait to whip. Because these still have whip anger from the previous uh, set of whippings. So I can, uh, I'll whip like a temple. Maybe I'll push the temple up to the top when their whip anger is cooled. And do that. Whipping the mandir will be very fun. Because it will also give me some culture help here. And I could use it. I could use the culture help. They were killed. If I can uh, capitulate uh, the Ottomans, that wouldn't be terrible. But I need to break Montezuma away first. And the longer, if I can keep Hattie in the war too, that'll raise the cap odds because Hattie is a land target with the Gaul. So, yeah. Okay, um, let's just heal up here for two turns. My other stack's large enough to push out on its own, so I'm not really worried about it. And yeah, looking here now, we got plus 100% for military on 18 base hammers. I can get a little bit more base hammers here. Actually, I can get a lot more base hammers here. And that will be very strong. Persia. <laughs> Montezuma has <laughs> one fourth of my power, and he insists on staying uh, peace vassal, permanent ally vassal to the French even now. How is that construed as anything but a permanent alliance vassal? That's. Uh, he's a passel. He's a passel. <laughs> I mean, this is just ridiculous at this point. Oh, we got a knight. Um, knight's not going to scare elephants very much, though. Um, very little in the early game scares elephants, honestly. Do I have a water source down here? I don't. Alright, got another longbow, so I should be okay there. Couple spy turns, that way I can support Vol- I don't need any more espionage on Montezuma. He's neither getting techs, nor needing any more cities dropped in defenses. So, whatever. And as soon as he breaks free, I'm just going to take capitulation. I don't want someone else peace fastling him and having him become a problem again later. Okay, well here we have uh, a secondary stack that I could use to slowly bombard. So I'm going to leave one longbow and a couple elephants behind. Uh, elephants to deal with the knights, longbows to absolutely embarrass anything else that attacks. And uh, yeah, we'll do a two-pronged attack. Oh, and we have yet another spy. I'm <laughs> just swimming in spies. Um, city info, no, this isn't it. There's so much information, it's incredible. Anyway, um, where's, oh yeah, I need to check this method. This method is what allows me to see where my espionage potential is. Uh, Nibru, okay. And yeah, Mad Scientist was renaming these, uh, cities based on, uh, based on, like, uh, Wiki, which is kind of funny. Wait, where is that city, anyway? You know what? I don't need it. I'm going to save him for a golden age, because I'm going to need a golden age eventually. And, uh, might as well keep the spy for that. A whip. I do have units there. Okay. 
And all right, next turn I can finally do some damage to the Ottomans. Who just had to do had to do the permanent alliance vassal. Had to make the game harder on me. Where did that happen? While defending my longbowmen was Oh, the pikemen attacked into this stack and killed my longbow. That's what happened. Um, this stack's actually pretty weak without that longbow. Um, shoot. Well, okay, I'll bring the other one along. And I can shift forces if I really need to do it. I'll just, uh, put pressure. But we'll put pressure in more than one spot. We're gonna make AI counterattacking really hard. I'd be a little bit more scared to do this, except for that I've already taken out his, uh, most recent offensive stack. So I just know that his ability to counter me with anything of substance is going to be limited. And sure enough, here we go. Support City Revolt. Yep. Defense is gone instantly. I still have enough espionage on him, 779, to prevent him from, well, to, to continually support revolts, even without the, uh, reduc the total reduction. Watch oh, this phase. This is going to massacre him. This is even a hill city. And I lost all of one trebuchet to that hill city. Now, you do, know, you do want the City Raider 2, though. It gets really rough if you don't have City Raider 2, at least. But anyway, um, we'll just sneak in a couple longbows into the city. Yeah, all right. That went very easily. And the more cities I take, the more I can block any Apostolic Palace resolution from giving me trouble. So that works out very well also. Could almost use my super medic over here rather than over there. Oh well, um, looks like I'm gonna have to shuffle my forces around, but I can probably push down to Ankara next. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna lose life very quickly if you <laughs> keep resisting. All right, we'll just fortify some spies there. Might as well get espionage point reduction while I can. You know, I have plenty of spies. I'm not gonna lose them. Well, not all of them anyway. And apparently got a random catapult trying to poach my workers. Oh, more than one random catapult trying to poach my workers. Awesome. That's not gonna work. And we just fortify there, and sure. Yeah, City Raider 3, 4 elephants. I'm not even charismatic. Doesn't matter. Next turn I'll hit the city. I'll probably be able to take it actually, which is nice. Yep, get in there. And I'm going to push a little bit. I can get my super medic to heal after taking Ankara. You want me to cancel my deals with the Dutch? I'm afraid I can't do that. Um, the Dutch, I want to, oh, a permanent ally vassal. Even though my land is too far away. We'll see about that. <laughs> We're going to get the land closer, Hattie. No worries. You just don't realize yet. Let's farm there. And okay, got some City Raider Trebs left over. Let's uh, 43% odds because I'm attacking at night. Now I'm up to 81 on my second attack. Yeah, they're actually a little bit underrated. The only problem is that they take so long to bombard castles. But against medieval units, uh, City Raider 2 Trebs are very solid. They are nothing to mess around with. And we take another city. And actually the Raider War isn't too bad now. Um, it was bad at first just because I didn't have the units. But the uh, reason I chose to declare so early was rather simple. You know, they were both declaring on Hattie. I didn't want him to cap her. And I could easily block it. And yeah, okay, I'm going to need to wait till next turn. And then I can probably sneak my spy over into that stack. Or even consolidate stacks or something. But yeah, this is going really easily now, and he's down to only 1.4. He's actually willing to give me Utrecht. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, actually, uh, he's been he's been rough and hatty up a bit. But he lost so many units in his initial stack there that I was able to just pick him off. Oop, a couple knights dead trying to attack my elephants. That didn't work out for them. 
And all right, uh, quite a few forces in here. Three knights, my uh, three maces, crossbow, two longbows, and it's on a hill. But I still have enough trebuchets, I think. So, oh, there we go. The Persians have broken free. We're gonna support a city revolt. I said we're gonna support a city revolt, or uh, you know maybe a third time's a charm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes a random number generator doesn't like you. And I'm getting a little bit lucky there on the trebuchet withdrawals. Each time the odds go up more and more as you attack. Yeah, 90% odds now. And I, I really can't use these last two uh, without losing them, so I won't. We're just gonna do some combat promotions. Already getting 90% odds with a 6 strength unit, so awesome. Uh, let's see here, 70.4%, not so good, um, only, you know what, I'm just going to take combat on these longbows, I'm in a little bit of a pinch situation, might as well kill some stuff off, um, yeah, now I have 99% odds with that, 96% odds, 73, okay, and 43, not so much, a lot of damage there. It's so unfortunate if you can't take it in one turn, you're gonna have to like set up another revolt, which sucks. But you know, I, can't, I don't really have any other choice other than like extended, uh, unnecessarily long bombardment. That's my other choice. Anyway, um, still Solomon holds the tech lead. I'm just gonna give him gold. This is gonna be like a chain thing because I'm gonna feed him gold. He'll tech faster. I'll feed him gold. He'll tech faster, and then I'll just steal techs. <laughs> Use my production advantage to absolutely slaughter him. Did for war, the printing press but okay, for uh, let's not screw around with you. He'll even give me Amsterdam. I don't think I want it. <laughs> I don't think I can hold on to it without his forces there. And sure, uh, he, he I can also use his land target abilities potentially. But I don't want him passling to anybody else. So rather than Amsterdam, how about you give me guilds? You suck. Um, optics? Wow, I can actually get optics from him in a peace deal. On Epic, that's surprising. Okay, uh, we'll open borders. And he has the elusive whale. And I know I can get it eventually, but I have enough banana, I'll just trade it across. I, uh, I don't have sheep, really? I don't, I'm not like I don't have sheep hooked up. There shall be peace in our time. You are already annoyed with me because you are an idiot. Well, let me guess, I'm gonna be his worst enemy too. Nope, not that at least. Okay, also annoyed. Um, although meeting somebody through Vassal, that annoys me too, so I can't judge too much. But let's get open borders. Memphis, oh no. <laughs> He's uh, spanking Egypt a little bit. Lands without losing sight of the um, well, he is Egypt, never mind. I keep forgetting. <laughs> and yeah, now the Ottomans' relative score quite poor now. He's, he's not doing so hot. He's willing to give up cities and everything. Okay, um, sure. I'm pretty sure that was a bribe. <laughs> I don't think they have any actual units near me. Never! <laughs> I don't want to stop war. Are you kidding me? Support City Revolt. And I actually, since it's it's the orders to stop the war against me, there's a good chance that the AIs I'm fighting are going to be like, no, we don't want to stop the war against him. We don't want to help him out. And uh, yeah, that could help me out. Uh, their, their opinion of that direction. Okay. A little bit of a meat grinder on my trebuchets there, but I really want to inflict damage on this city now that I spent another spy revolt on it. 28% odds, not ideal. Uh, can I get better? 87, 97. These guys are not going to do anything. Um, okay. Uh, might as well bring the spies back down here. Yeah, now my forces are thinning out a little, or more like... Oh, whatever. I might get one more espionage revolt. Yeah, it's kind of an efficient way to use my espionage points, but I don't care. Let's get some buildings in there. Tarsus is a holy city. Oh man, Montezuma might flip into Taoism. But yeah, he's not gonna... 
He's not going to be able to revolt this easily. And everything else is just, uh, yeah, he won't ever get culture pressure on the interior cities. So most of those cities are actually going to be uh, solid contributors to me. And yeah, you, you're a jerk. You bribed people into war with me. And you passled someone. You, like, just deserve to die for so many reasons. Ha ha. <laughs> Only Solomon votes yes. De Gaulle actually voted never, too. Ha! <laughs> we both emphatically want to keep fighting, I suppose. Well, okay. Now I'm going to have to wait a turn and do nothing. Or actually, what's defending this? Uh, and swordsmen and a bunch of knights. So maybe not. Do any are any of my elephants in fighting condition? No, they're not, unfortunately. <sighs> that would have been nice. I'm gonna throw a turn of mass espionage onto him. So that next turn I can at least have a chance at revolting. It probably won't work. I'll build a harbor in this city. Solomon has an axe there. Maybe it'll kill some of these swords eventually. And I never... No, I never made the pasture. That's really annoying. Okay. <laughs> How many of you are yelling at me for that? I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out. Okay, got that going. Let's, uh... Yeah, I hate to support a city revolt in a city that is so poorly defended. Can I power through? 2.3% odds. Attacking what? Oh, he's got a longbow in there. Never mind. We'll try it. 94% odds. Ouch. That's not good for him at all. Alright. Um, that's one. And okay, I'm going to be able to uh, get through the rest of this without any more trebuchet losses. So the city took some fighting, but it's going to be it's going to fall all the same. And down it goes. Quick and easy, and now we're just gonna pump AP hammers. Well, okay. Um, yeah, I'll cottage that. It was probably destroyed by somebody anyway. Oh, he's actually willing to capitulate already. Well, okay. Hmm. That's an interesting phenomenon. I must say. Vassal state. Really, Hattie? Oh, she's like... <laughs> they took all her mainland cities already, actually. <laughs> That's probably what they were doing, is still moving in that direction. Well, okay. Uh... You know, if I if I leave him relatively intact, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. Well, okay, I'm going to take I'm going to take Izmir, I think. No, I I want a city that it's. I'm not going to throw too many garrisons to avoid revolt. And uh, I don't think Izmir is going to be safe from Kanya though. Twenty, forty, sixty. Actually, maybe, maybe. All right, I'll take Izmir yet. And then after that, I'm going to capitulate him. And we have a new target acquired then, and that would be my friend. The only thing I'm going to do then is, uh, let's talk to the Romans. I want, I want some guaranteed peace, and I will do it like this. That way he can't peace vassal, passel, um, the Ottomans. Oh, I am now much stronger than apparently. Yeah, see, this is why we like vassals, because vassals will trade as if friendly, and the more of them I have, the more gold gouging I can do, the more I can direct the research and then uh, trade monopoly, like trade what would normally be a monopoly tech. Oh, so good, so good in so many ways. Um, you guys just uh, heal up there. Get a round of healing for everybody. I don't need much, but some. Get some spies down there, cottage. Yay. Does anyone have banking? Banking? 
Hattie is banking. No, um, Degas is banking. <laughs> so once I cap him, I'll get it. Along with gunpowder, for that matter. So, um, sure. We'll head this way. Tacharate is as slow as ever. Who cares? We are dominating the world. Crossbows. Once I get gunpowder, I'll probably switch over to muskets to go with my trebuchet. It's like all muskets. Well, I'll leave some elephants in this in the production as well. Elephants are pretty good against the knights and even uh, reasonable, although not great, against cuirassers. I actually like pikes a little bit more against cuirassers because they get other defensive bonuses rather than just the um, just the anti-mounted that elephants get. Um, okay. Oh, I see. She's got a. Uh, She's got people fighting her right now. Uh, Kin is fighting her right now. These idiots are still gonna be at war with me. Oh, this guy's Zulu? Kin is Zulu. And he's certainly behaving like the Zulu would normally behave. I'll give him that. Yeah, combat longbows, not so great defensively, but they did what I needed them to do. Okay. Get these guys down here. And yeah, at this point, my uh, relative power has increased a lot, so I'm doing pretty strong against the Ottomans and against everyone on this continent. Julian Assange is the truth. And the Montezuma even has banking. And you see, like, I could trade for gunpowder and then trade gunpowder over to Montezuma. And if I can get the uh, Romans as a vassal too, that just gets even more extreme. To the max! Something like that. Wiki Sib. No, I don't think so. Now that's worth considering to sell him guilds to get some gold back really make uh, make good on the exchanges here. Yeah, there we go. He'll even give me a map. Wow, that really looks imposing until you realize that they're two different empires. But yeah, that's gonna be a mess. It's such a pain to deal with things like that. And yeah, just mine. Okay. With the monastery. Do I have a ziggurat captured in this city? Sometimes you can. It'll, it'll convert the courthouses, yeah. So I'm capturing some nice stuff. And hey, I got sight of him. No, no. And yeah, how do you want a uh, peace vassal than me? Because it's not. She doesn't want to get into another war. I don't blame her for that. Alrighty, just, uh. Unnecessarily cottage everything. Let's check my time. Pretty long. Yeah, I'm gonna want to cut this off after I cap my uh, target, I believe. And yeah, if I could trade for banking and just drop banks in every city, that will increase my wealth potential a lot. Uh, pretty good for the kind of game I'm playing. Well, okay, he suicided a catapult on me there. And we are going to support a city revolt. And that is it, that is all the espionage we are putting on you, Gaul. If I wanna see you, I can see you as a vassal now. Got some full health traps in here. Yeah, so you lose like somewhere between zero to two traps per city for the most part when you're attacking with city raider two. Pretty good. Pretty good. Kill a lot of units that way. Oh, I'll leave an elephant behind. There, there's something I have a lot of. And let's check the revolt chances in this city. I'm curious. None. Okay. So that's pretty good. If I stuff some units here, I'll probably be pretty good against revolt in general. And no, I don't think I really want Utrecht. And actually, um, he probably isn't going to be willing to trade me both banking and gunpowder. Oh, he will for gold, but I'm going to conserve my gold. Or not. And, 
done. I'm just open the borders. I have two silk, I have gold. I will have gems very shortly. Just checking to make sure I have all the resources. Yeah, it's, cause it's kinda silly to have a vassal and not have the resources from them. And yeah, he's never gonna break free. He didn't, he's only got you know, a third of my landed pop right now, a little less. You so the only city I have to worry about revolts from all of my conquests is this one. And I'll just uh, start stuffing units into their next turn to curb the chances of that happening. Run this guy over here. Sure, just mine. <laughs> that city's a junker. And monastery, temple. Definitely want a ziggurat. Ziggurats are good everywhere for me. Actually, this um, this city might be able to revolt too. No, it isn't. It is not. I could actually run free religion right now, but I don't want to do that. The IP is at stake. And yeah, I'll just trade for banking next turn for Mahdi. Doing really nicely in tech, all things considered. I'm at war with, I am at war with Egypt. Oh, and now I can check if Hattie wants a war ally. Sorry, it's out of our hands. What? You're not anybody's vassal. Oh, it's the peace treaty. That's why. Huh, that's interesting. Well, okay then. Lots of things blocking me from being the master of Hattie. Which is sad. That would be a very convenient relationship to have. We all know how important relationships and convenience are, viewers. We all know. Yeah, here we go. I can trade gunpowder for banking. In a world map. Eh, fills it out a little bit. Banking establishments are more dangerous than No, actually mercantilism is not bad. And yeah, this is definitely a just a little colony. Colonies are annoying because they follow the same rules as all the vassal rules and peace vassal rules and permanent alliance vassals. And I'm trying to abuse the mechanic myself. Isn't she also at War of the Egypt? <sighs> Come on. Whatever. <laughs> Stupid vassal mechanics. Well, okay, I'll make a workshop or something. Okay, crossbow is not a high priority thing for me right now. Does that drop the roll tods much? Not too much. Let's take some of the weaker elephants into the city as well. It's gonna take a lot of units to block revolts here. Yeah. Really looks like I need like all the elephants. It's alright though. Even then it's not enough. Wow. Here, take the catapult too. Catapult siege in general doesn't block revolt much. Ah, uh, just one more. Well, I'll just pull along though. How about that? All right, that'll work. The rest of these guys can just go meet up with the forces that have been massing. Lighthouse done. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go monastery and temple like I did in all the other cities. Definitely want to pump that up. Bank. Sure, we'll build a bank. I think every city I own should take a break and build a bank. Hmm. What else? I mean, I have stone. I could build a Sankor. Sankor would be pretty strong. Let's build Sankor. Or try. I can't picture we're actually getting it, but even more money. Absolutely. And I am focusing espionage on Rome now, right? 
Yeah, I'm not focusing espionage on anybody. But I'll focus espionage on Rome. We are going to steal some more tech. And nah, I don't need Sankar. I can capture it from somebody. It's fine. We'll go to the bank, though. <laughs> and yes, I think I, uh, I think I said that I was going to do this. So I'm actually going to do it in each of my cities. Probably even easier just to do it from this screen. Just click in, hit right on the arrow key to switch between cities. Just to see what they're building. Like, I want to more elephants being produced still. Um, crossbows, not so much. Don't need so many war elephants being produced now, though. Threat of AI knights is much reduced. So I'll leave that going in like two cities, but not in any uh, rush. Definitely don't need any more crossbows. Muskets are superior in just about every way. Okay, that's a useful party. Eh, elephants fine there. Hindu monastery. Actually, I want a Hindu temple before I want a bank in the city as well. Yeah, now all I need to do is just capture like 16 chapel off somebody. Really hose the AI. Yep, just uh, muskets and trebs. That's actually the way I first won Emperor back in Pick Your Leader. Uh, I think it was Pick Your Leader 2, Backstabbers? Yeah. I was playing as um, Backstabby Kathy, Catherine of Russia. And I uh, did that, but okay, uh, I think I said I was going to end it after the uh, war against the Gaul, and I have finished that, so I'll cut the video off here. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't, and the me and team signing off.